We, um, what we did is uh, we've recently installed a drip system on the entire property. Uh, and that was, uh, it was part in part because of water savings, but there's also a little bit of tweaking you can do with the wine style in terms of uh, speeding up the ripening. It also helps even out the canopy a little bit better with, uh, with the overhead. What you find is even with the, uh, the best planning in the world and the, um, you've got places where the waters don't, the water doesn't quite match up uh, from the overhead sprinklers as well as there's some, uh, uh, some drainage issues. In other words, long story short is the vines don't all get the same amount of water as hard as you try. So we put in the drip and the two systems we're hoping are going to give uh, a little bit more evenness that way as well. Um, there's obviously some water savings, but uh, uh, the soils here, I mean, getting back to the soils, the soils here are very sandy on this side of the, this side of the valley. Uh, I'm told, beach pretty much, I'm told, uh, I've never, I'm not, a, I'm not a, a geologist, but I'm told that it's 300 feet straight down of pure sand. And when we do dig, we see a nice little layer of uh, organic matter, a little bit, uh, a little, little six inches of, uh, I don't know what you call it, halfway between, yeah, and then sand, just sand to the bottom. So. Uh, the, the beauty from, from our perspective is we can control the grapes uh, and, and the maturity and how much water they're getting. If we don't want them to get water, we just turn it off. We don't have to worry about uh, the soil holding too much. And I think that's an ideal situation for vineyards. Grapes um, need to feel struggle at certain times and they need to feel like they're living the good life at other times. And it's the ability to control when those times happen that makes your, uh, that keeps your grapes ripening uh, to perfection. I think a one thing that maybe we pass over a little bit with an irrigation system versus areas that don't irrigate is we're able to duplicate the as close to uh, ideal conditions every year exactly the same way versus a, an area that maybe has to rely on natural irrigation that has to hope that the weather's going to give them that timing and that it doesn't always. Um, on top of that, by only giving it just the water that we need, um, we can control disease pressures and uh, mildews and so forth. My, yeah. Now, Bertus is the viticulture expert, and we should really be asking him about <laughs> I think they like getting it from there. They like stuff. <laughs>